Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're going to be talking about when life knocks you down. And I have my notes. If you wonder what I'm looking at, that's what I'm reading because I don't want to forget anything. This video is so important and I hope that it helps someone. So life can be going along very smoothly and then all of a sudden a perfect storm comes out of nowhere. And if you aren't aware of what a perfect storm is, I have two definitions that I found that I want to share with you. So the first one is a particularly violent storm arising from a rare combination of adverse meteorological factors. This storm couldn't have been worse than what it was. The second definition is it's also a particularly bad or critical state of affairs arising from a number of negative and unpredictable factors. Let me put a pin right there. I just want to point out that if you live long enough, life will happen to each and every one of us. Now, how life happens is very different for everyone. For some people, they, uh, they experience a major setback. For others, it's a minor setback. But life will happen. So I want to give you some keys on how you can get back up when life knocks you down. So, and it made me, as I was doing this, it made me think about one of my favorite movies called uh, The Perfect Storm. And um, I, I, that just came to mind when I thought about this topic for today. So the movie, The Perfect Storm, came out June the 30th of 2000. And a perfect storm, what I, what I learned about watching this movie is that a perfect storm doesn't necessarily creep up on you. In most cases, you know or you suspect that it's coming. When the storm hits, it is very destructive. The key thing is this, just as soon as that storm comes, it's gone. And that's how a perfect storm works. It rolls in, it's very destructive, it destroys pretty much everything in its path, and just that quick, it's gone. So we all have to face, we all, we've all had to face a setback, disappointments, and failures of some kind in our lives. And if you haven't, just keep living long enough because you will. So let's look at some of ways that, that can be helpful for you when life knocks you down. And before I go into those steps, I wanted to just tell you that after I saw the movie, The Perfect Storm, I really liked it. And I'm be honest with you, I've seen that movie more times than I can even count. And I liked it so much that when I thought about getting my second tattoo, you guessed it, I got The Perfect Storm tattooed on, uh, on my back, right here on the right side. You can't see it, but it is there. And it's right over top of the butterfly that I got in 2009, I believe it is. And as you know, butterflies signify something new. And so at that time in my life, you know, I was going through something, bad breakup. And so the butterfly just helped remind me that I'm in another phase of my life. It's going to be great. And I can get back up and keep moving. So the perfect storm, I'm sorry, the perfect storm tattoo was just perfect to go right over top of that butterfly. Maybe one of these days I'll show it to you. But anyway, let's get into these steps. So step number one, and this is very critical, forgive yourself and move on. You are not the thing that happened to you. And, and that's, that's key. You are not the thing that happened to you. So you got to forgive yourself and then get to planning on how you're going to get back up. Number two, think about who is counting on you. Life has knocked you down, but you have to think about the people that are counting on you so that you can get back up and get it together. These people are your children, your spouse, your uh, other family members, your business partners. This is not just about you because when life knocks you down, if you don't get back up, you've got a whole string of people that are counting on you. So you've got to be able to pull it together. Number three, remember the good times. Think back to a time when things were really good and then use that to help you get back up. Look at what went wrong and then figure out how to make it right. Number four, 
get with positive people and if you don't remember anything else i tell you today you need to remember number four get with positive people this is the time that you need to be around people that are going to uplift you not tear you down stay away from those people that like to sit around talking about see i told you it wasn't going to work those people are the worst and you do not need them in your life period point blank and i don't care who they are sometimes those people are family members Sometimes they're people that you've known all your life. Maybe you went to school with. Sometimes they're co-workers. Those people you do not need in your life and you need to get rid of them. Number five, <clears throat> stay on top of your healthy routines. Right now, your emotions are all over the place and they really, really are. So you need to keep your emotional reserves as high as possible. So, of course, along with having positive people in your life, you want to keep exercising assuming that you already were exercising and if you aren't exercising then you need to begin an exercise program you want to keep um, getting adequate sleep and I know sometimes when life happens sleep is the last thing on your mind but you do need your rest because it helps you to think better and it makes you feel better and you want to um, also continue to eat uh, properly. So if you don't have good new nutritional habits, you need to start getting some because this is not the time for you to sit and pig out on ice cream, pickles, and whatever else it is that you eat for your comfort food. Number six, write out your new plan. This is very important for you to write it down because you want, you want to write down how you see yourself getting back up and getting back on track and the key here is to be as specific as possible so don't just write down in your journal i'm going to get back on my feet you have to be specific how are you going to do that write it out step by step you see what i'm saying so that way as you go along you can cross out those things that you've accomplished and you know honestly it's more obtainable when you write it out and you can see the whole plan so be specific number seven skip the pity party can i say that one more time Skip the pity party. Yes, life is unfair, and it seems that the unfairness is not handed out equally, and it truly is not. However, nobody wants to come to your pity party, and I can promise you, please don't send me an invite to your pity party because I do not want to come, and I will not come. What I will do is I will sit, and I will listen, and I will allow you to vent, and then after you vented and after you cried a little bit, you can wipe your eyes and I'm going to say, okay, what's next? Let's get out pen and paper and let's write down where we're going to go from here. Because I will not be a part of your pity party and nobody else wants to come to it either. Now, however, nobody wants to come to your pity party because they have issues of their own. They don't want to be caught up in your drama. Yes, they love you. Yes, they care about you, but they can't get totally... Uh, caught up in your drama so don't don't invite people to your pity party because unfortunately they have other things they need to be doing and number eight last but certainly not least find your inner strength the key takeaway from this video that I want to leave you all with is that in order to get back up you have to have unwavering strength and determination and let me say that one more time the key to getting back up is you have to have unwavering strength and determination what does that mean well what that means is that you've got to you've got to do what you've got to do and and that determination has got to kick in because if it doesn't you are going to be like a lot of people in this world that life has knocked them to their knees and they were not able to get back up because they just did not have the determination or they may have had determination this month and the next month they just didn't feel like doing anything and maybe two three four months went by before they felt like doing anything else it has to be unwavering and you have to be determined to get back up and get back on track because remember the key takeaway is that there's somebody that's counting on you sometimes you know who those people are and sometimes you have no idea the people that are counting on you because they draw their strength and their inner de determination from you so again when life knocks you down and it will and if it hasn't it's coming um, you just you want to be uh, you have to be strong write out your plan of action and get back up 
And not only that, God did not intend for you to get knocked down and stay down. So having said that, I enjoyed our time together and I look forward to speaking life into you again next week. Take care.